So we're here in the square in Brosna um, for the Sunday of the festival and I suppose today is a very busy day in the festival in that it's, I suppose, for the, the locals they consider it a real family day because as you'll see out in the square we've got the busking competition so we've got the under 9s, the under 12s and the under 15s so it's a great opportunity for young children and I suppose teenagers to play out in the open and for the locals and all the visitors for the festival to see them. Well, since uh, 2001, it has been growing and growing. You know, and every year seems to be getting better. And, uh, you know, the, the big thing, I suppose, is bringing in strangers into our locality here and, you know, meeting people from uh, different counties and, you know, making great friends down through the years. The pubs are, uh, are flying. Last night, you couldn't get into the bars and, uh, you know, the great excitement around the place. Mighty, mighty, mighty festival altogether, yeah. Last year, um, 2016, was my first year here and a great crack. Oh, the centres, very, very high, you know, great musicians. Uh, in a little while down the road in our parish hall, we'll have the uh, Cayley, so that's with the Sri Lanka Cayley Band, so it'll be an opportunity for the dancing side of our Irish heritage to be in vogue at the festival. And a little later on, we'll have the singing session in Flanagan's Bar and, of course, there'll be music sessions both this evening and tonight in all of the, the uh, pubs in the village. All the friends I have and I'm a hurricane. And still I brought her home with pride to the cottage with the roses round the door. A festival like the Concurtain Festival brings um, a huge number of visitors to our local village situated right on the Cork and Kerry border so we're fortunate that we have visitors coming from all the surrounding parishes and from those counties as well. We're also very fortunate this year we have a lot of visitors from overseas we have a group of people that have come over from Japan they're in Ireland for the summer and they'd heard about the festival and they decided to come and also we have one or two musicians over from Russia as well. Curtain Music Festival has grown in prominence since its establishment um, in 2001 and I suppose this is where as a committee we feel we're very very grateful um, not only to our sponsors in the locality uh, we're also very very grateful to Kerry County Council because without their support through the arts grant the festival simply wouldn't continue because trying to generate uh, funding to pay for a festival of this scale and to bring top class traditional musicians and dancers and singers to a small village in the north of Kerry um, would be a very, very onerous task without uh, that funding that we get. And I suppose every year that a committee is working uh, for the Concord Festival, we find that the fundraising really is the biggest and most onerous task. We have a very small committee who work very hard on a year round basis for the festival and to ensure its success. So it, it's great to see the, the fruition of all of that work uh, happening here now this weekend. Thank you.